I am Jonathan Little. Today, we're in Las Vegas for the Global Poker Awards. And randomly enough, I'm also here with my team for a company retreat. We're gonna be discussing ways to help you learn to play poker better. I am up for the Poker Personality of the Year Award. I never would have thought that I'd be up for a Poker Personality of the Year Award, yet somehow here we are. It's actually the third year in a row we've been in the top four, but we have yet to win. I'll go ahead and spoil it. I think Joe Ingram's probably gonna win this year because he's been everywhere. Everything's worked out pretty nice for him and uh, he's probably gonna win. But hey, you never know. I know that all of you gave me an immense amount of support voting for me and I highly appreciate it. So win or lose, know that I appreciate you. And I'm looking forward to continue devoting my life to help you get better at cards and to enjoy your life more. Let's go see if we can win. Hello. 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 We're having dinner, a poker party at Picasso. Here's the roster. Solid roster. They have Picasso's on the wall. Up next is the People's Choice Award for Poker Personality of the Year. This award is presented to the poker personality judged to have been one of the game's best ambassadors in 2019. This is the first of two special awards voted on by the poker fans. And the nominees for Poker Personality of the Year are... People's Choice Poker Personality Joey Ingram Jonathan Little Ryan DePaolo Lex Veldhaus And the winner is Jonathan Little. Hello. Didn't think I was gonna win this tonight because there have been a lot of people who have done great work in this industry and it's an honor to be in the room with all of you because I know all of you love poker immensely and you devote your life to it and you all deserve lots and lots of credit. So thanks to all of you for everything that you all do to make this game great. So I have a big team who helps me do my work. I have my family, I have my wife, Amy, and my sons, James and Thomas. Mr. James is an internet celebrity now, so thanks for making him an internet celebrity, I guess. Thanks to my team. I have a, my, um, I'm actually here on a work retreat right now, and. I'm glad that I have the support of them because it, it, this really is a cooperative game, right? Everyone thinks we're out there like taking from everyone, but in reality, we are collaborating and working together and everyone here does that. We, we work together to make the game great. So again, we work hard for that. And um, thanks to GPI for putting on these awards. I know that it's a lot of work and it's great to highlight the poker community. And um, thanks to my students because without them, I would not be able to do the work I love and really live the life of my dreams, so thanks to them. again. Running like crazy hard. So I'm back home in New York City. The trip to Las Vegas was a whirlwind. The days were spent uh, working hard with my team to make sure we have a good solid plan in place. 
The nights were spent um, playing poker, going to fancy dinners. We went to O at Bellagio, that was a lot of fun. And um, all in all, it was a great time. I think it's very important for anyone with a business that is a remote business, like mine is, none of my employees live where I live, and you know they don't live where each other live. It's important to make sure you get together and get to know each other and form a team and have fun. And we definitely had fun. Um, winning the Global Poker Award, there it is right back there, was, I don't even know what the right word was. It uh, made me happy. It's happy, it makes me happy to know that the work I do is not lost, right? I mean, I've been devoting my life to helping my students get better at poker and improve their lives for goodness, 17 years now, something like that. And <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a long time to do the work, but I love the work. And I think that's important for people to recognize. A lot of people want to figure out a way to get rich quick or get a lot of subscribers quickly, but for like what end, right? What are they trying to accomplish? And for a lot of them, they're just trying to make money or something like that. But I never really got into this to make money. I got into this because I know that I would not be the poker player I am without the help of all of my mentors. And if I can do that for even a few people out there, it would be well worth it. And fortunately, we've done it for a lot of people. So many to the point that, well, they give me an award. So thanks to you for that. I appreciate it. Without you, I really would not be able to do what I love and live the life of my dreams. And I appreciate you. If you like my work, click like, click subscribe. That goes a long way to letting the YouTube algorithm know that, well, people like my work. I have no poker coming up for the near future. Uh, my wife just took a new job that requires a bit of a commute, so I'm staying home and being a daddy. Also, I have a book I'm finishing up, Excelling at Tough No Limit Hold'em Games. That'll be out in June, with any luck. And I'm working on a tournament masterclass. I actually had one of my friends, Johnny Bentoncourt of Clutch Prep, come out to Vegas to help me learn how to teach. We did a session with me and some of the other poker coaching coaches, and we could all do better. You all may not know how I make videos. You wanna know how I'm so productive? I basically sit down, write an outline for what I wanna talk about, and then make a video about it. My prep time was about 1.1 minute of preparation to every one minute of content made. I was talking to some content creators, um, Jamin Burton, shout out to him, at uh, the Global Poker Awards, and he said that he spends about 60 minutes working for every one minute of content that he makes. I was talking to Johnny, he says it's like a 40 to one ratio to them for um, college textbook content. And I'm like 1.1 to one. Maybe I should make it up to be more like a two to one. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit more two to one. May make me slight less, slightly less productive, but better content on average, or at least more concise content in a better order. I go on tangents a lot. Have you all realized that? I go on tangents. I don't mind tangents, but hey, if I can teach better without going on tangents, I will do that. So know that I'm working hard for all of you and that I want to be the best that I possibly can that be for all of you. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Remember to click like, and I will see you next time.